Hello friends, I'm Oom and as you know, I'm a professional and long-term Linux user, aka someone who's using Arch plus Hibernian setup for literally everything. And today I'm going to take a deadly challenge, a nightmare. Today I'm gonna go back to the first distribution I ever used and do the same things as I do on a main machine of Arch plus Hibernian on Ubuntu. Yep. It is an Ubuntu challenge for a pro Linux user, and I'm actually kind of scared to the go because Ubuntu is a nightmare for professional Linux users. You will know why in a minute. So this challenge is like I will have to perform three things by the end of the video. I'm gonna share my whole experience from start to end with you. So let's begin. So what we're gonna do is first customize the operating system to the basic needs, like. We all know Ubuntu is pretty much like well made out of the box, but I don't like it at all. Now the second one is gaming. You see, I have never heard of a Linux user who plays games on Ubuntu. Never. They use Nubara, they use Fedora, they use R, they even use Manjaro, but not this. So yep. And now the third and foremost important challenge: video editing. I'm going to edit a gameplay video of the game which I will play on this setup. And edit that gameplay a little like color grading, and see if I can get that done too or not. Yeah. And for video editing, I'm gonna use DaVinci Resolve Studio version. Yeah. That's what makes it a challenge. And for gaming, I'm gonna choose a Windows popular game and make it run on this setup. Yes, that's actually a big challenge. So let's begin. So the first step is obvious: download the ISO and make a bootable USB. Easily done through a Rufus tool, and yep, another thing: create a partition for Ubuntu in advance. That is important. And then just boot up from the USB, go through the setup, and there, just install Ubuntu alongside Windows, and that's it. Choose the partition which you made earlier, and you're good to go. And don't forget to install additional applications, codecs, medias during the installation. That will save a lot of time later. And here it is, the first impression of Ubuntu. And to be honest, it looks quite clean and beautiful. Like yes, believe me, I've been using Fedora for a long time, Fedora Workstation GNOME version, and Ubuntu's also GNOME. But Ubuntu has customized their very own version of vanilla GNOME into Ubuntu GNOME, and it looks quite good. It's clean, it's full of animation, and it's different. It feels unique. But still, it's not usable at all. Like I just can't get through this vertical taskbar on the left and GNOME shell. It's it's not how it is supposed to be. So the first thing I did, well, obvious reasons, I installed a few extensions, changed the Ubuntu dock into the normal dash to dock to make it look better, installed another icon pack, installed another theme, and now it ended up looking like this. Yep, it's still Ubuntu with a with an Ubuntu wallpaper. But at last, it's usable and it looks better. And now let's move to the next challenge, which is video editing and gaming. Now for that, as you see that we did install all the drivers and codecs during the installation. That means NVIDIA driver is pre-installed. It took me around two hours maybe just to prepare my you know operating system to install Steam and get it running. And talking about DaVinci Resolve, well, I installed DaVinci Resolve. Well. You know, downloading those codecs of NVIDIA AK mode and NVIDIA Coda and Vulkan. I did all that. And it wasn't just certain, like, yeah, stuff. So I was at last able to get these two installed. Now, after installation, I tried to launch, well, Steam. But first, I had to choose a game. And for that, I chose Asphalt Legends. If you know, it's a Windows game, like actual Windows game from GameSoft. Asphalt. So it's a pretty well known game and it's obviously not made for Linux. So when I downloaded it, I installed Proton Experiment version and it it didn't work. I failed. Then I retried using Proton Hotfix. I failed again. So I knew obvious reasons that I had to choose the right Proton version to just at least get it working. So I searched online for Proton QT to install Proton GE version and it worked. Yep. It but it bloody hooked at last. 
And here's an example of the gameplay. But wait, 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 wait. Well, I did play the game, record the, recorded the gameplay, and now it was time to edit. So, I opened the Wings Resort Studio. It did open. I had to, you know, like launch the whole application directly through the discrete GPU only. You know, Prime Run. If you don't, NVIDIA Prime. That allows me to open particular applications directly from these GPUs. So I did that, it worked properly and then I edited the video. And this is the edited video and the gameplay and the proof that I at last completed all these three challenges. There you go. And now I would like to give you the conclusion because it's important. So, after a long time, I revisited the first ever distribution I ever used. It was Ubuntu and it was quite okay-ish. Like, yes, I did run into errors everywhere. Like, even the first thing I did after installing Ubuntu was to install a screen recorder which is obviously since OBS and it didn't work. It could not even install it properly. Then I had to, you know, like search for multiple variants of OBS online. They don't work. They didn't work, and I ended up with the snap version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu City you know, the unofficial OBS which you can find on Snap Store, and that's how I ended up installing OBS unofficial version. But that was the only thing which could work. And then after that, I had a lot of issues with GPU because even though GPU drivers were installed, there are just so many options. And I had to pick the right NVIDIA proprietary driver. There were multiple options. So that took a another 30 minutes or something. And then after that, I had to customize the whole desktop, which took another one or two hours. And then after that, I had, I prepared the whole setup just to install Steam and Loving to Resolve. That took another four hours. And yep, the whole process was just time consuming. Now, on the other hand, if I was on maybe Arch or Fedora right now. Yes, it is true that it would take around maybe one hour or maximum two hours to complete the whole deal. But then it made me realize that when I face so many problems, it's obvious that it's going to be frustrating, but it's actually exciting. When you get problems, you're eager to solve them. You run into so many sources of how I can fix this particular pro problem. 
and it's gonna actually educate you on things which maybe you'd have you you'd not know if you were getting everything done without any problem. And that's the difference between Layers users and Windows users. Happy New Year to everyone! Like 2025 was actually a great year, but one of the hardest for me. And yep, I'm thinking of some change in 2026. And to be honest, I can already see the change. Can you? So I'm gonna meet you in the next video. Till then, I am Om, signing out.